Happy Monday. Happy Blessing Day. Today's the day we call for the blessing. Everybody calls to get their weekly blessing. God's word for word blessing is supposed to be spoken over all of us every week on a regular basis. The Bible doesn't say every week, but it says on a regular basis. The priests are supposed to speak the blessing over the people. That's a commandment of the Lord in Numbers chapter 6. God was getting people ready to go into the promised land. He said, this is how I want you to bless them. You, some of you are already in the promised land. The rest of you are getting ready. And I want you to be blessed when you go in there, just like God wants you to. But the first thing we do is we bless our country on Monday. And we bless Israel. Israel is at war right now. And we bless them. And we bless our country. And I say the, to the, our, our country, the United States, I say the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And we bless Israel. Amen. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. Everything always works out for me. Great things are coming my way. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am made rich by the poverty of Jesus. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. I want to talk to you today about calling me to get your prayers answered. I get results. I was looking at somebody's website this morning while I was uh, <clears throat> waiting for everybody to get ready for church. And this lady is a wonderful deliverance minister. She specializes in deliverance. And uh, she has quite an active YouTube channel and ministry and a church in Florida. And on her website, it tells you she doesn't have time to talk to people. Her schedule won't allow it. So she can do things. She can make things happen. I don't know if she does on the level that I do or not, but she understands deliverance and understands at least some things about it but she doesn't have time in her schedule to pray with people. You know what? To me, that's the most important part of my ministry is getting results for people. Huh? Share this video with everybody you know. Nobody needs to be sick and broke as long as I'm here and as long as my phone number is out there. This is an incredible prayer ministry, a ministry you can actually call and get results and have the blessing spoken over you, all curses broken, and all evil spirits commanded to leave your life. Spirit-filled people understand that curses and demons, evil spirits that Jesus called them, he called them devils, are prevalent. They're all over. And people are living their lives under the power of curses. I did for years, all kinds. I had the curse of poverty. That was definitely in my life. That had been passed down from my grandfather to my father to me. I had a curse of bitterness and unforgiveness. That had been passed down from my father and even my mother because that comes from the curse of rejection. I had a curse of rejection in my life. Oh my goodness. From the time we were children, my brother and I were rejected by people and made fun of and called bastards because my mother was not married. I mean, he called us, called us that to our face. You want to talk about rejection? I'm an expert in rejection. My first, The first book I wrote was rejected by 50 publishers. One of them told me 
She says, nobody is interested in anything Jim Kibler has to say. She told me that. And then she stole my book, my concept. She stole it. The largest Christian, spirit-filled Christian publishing company in the country. And she steals my book. And then I saw it in the stores. And I looked, I picked, it didn't have the same title as mine, but it was there. It was there. And so I called her. I said, hey, you stole my book. She denied it. She said it came from an idea during a staff meeting. Well, she didn't realize who she was dealing with. I find out things. I've always been able to find out things. In my former life, I had to find out things about people in order to survive. I found out very quickly the idea came from her because I talk to the people who work for her. She didn't know I could do that, but I did. I was right in the middle of her company in an hour talking to the people she that worked for her. And they told me the story. Oh well, yeah, it was her idea. She got it from me. Now you wanna talk about rejection, but forgiveness, forgiveness cleanses you. It cleanses you. I'll help you with that. Call me, I get results. The reason you should call me to have me pray for you is because this is probably the only ministry in the country that actually gets results. Now there's other people who can do what I do, a few of them. Kenneth Copeland comes to mind. Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes. Some of those people, they can, they can do great. Keith Moore, these people got great faith, but they don't have time to talk to you. I do. Other pastors, they say, how can you do that? How can you talk to all those people? Well, the truth of the matter is, I love to talk to God's people. And I love to pray with God's people. And I love to get the praise reports back. People always type me. They'll send me a text message, just a little paragraph, and tell me about their praise reports. Then I publish it. I cut and paste it, and I put it on Facebook. So everybody can see that God answers prayers. This, is, this week is going to be prayer week. We're going to talk about prayer. How to pray. And the reason we're going to talk about prayer this week is because very few people actually know how to get a prayer answered. Very few people. Some of them think they do. There was a man, bless his heart, uh, had a huge prayer ministry. He had a prayer organization of hundreds of thousands of people. Now, how in the world he put together a group like that? I don't know. And he made, he wrote a book about prayer. It was about that thick. Mine is this thick. His was like that thick. And at the beginning of his book, he made the statement. He said, there is no magical formula or guarantee for getting a prayer answered from God. Well, that told me all I need to know about him. He doesn't know how to get prayers answered. He has no idea. I do. You notice on my book, it says, get results every time. I am all about results. I used to be a sales manager of large sales teams mostly in the automotive business, but also in other companies that I, I worked in sales. And I was always, usually always a team leader. And I would run sales teams. And believe me, if you worked for me as a salesman and you didn't get any results, you didn't stay there very long. Companies don't keep people who, who can't sell. They have to be able to sell and to close deals. Now, when I was in the automotive business, 
I would close the deals for the people. I always told the people, I'm here to make money for you. You go out, you show the customers the car, wine them, dine them, whatever you need to do. Get, it to, get them to the table and then tell them just to wait for a minute. Come get me and I'll sell the car for you. I will close the deal. And I was the closer. And I would go in and make the deal. Because number one, I had the authority with the prices and the trade-ins and all that stuff. I, you know, in a dealership, there's people don't realize this. There's very few people who can say yes to a deal. Very few. The salesman you're talking to, he can't say yes. He can say yes if you want to pay full price. But if you want to come down to the price and you want to make a good deal for yourself, there's very few people who could say yes. The closer can. That was me. I would close these deals. I I can sell anything. I always said I could sell ice boxes to people in Alaska. People at the North Pole. I could sell ice boxes to them. Because I can sell. Mary and I used to go out and sell. I made a living selling health insurance. Health insurance is a hard close sometimes. I'm all about results. And you know what? I brought that into the ministry with me. When I received Jesus as my savior, went to Bible college and started in the ministry. And actually I started in a ministry even before I went to Bible school, but I was always about results. God anointed me with the, the gift of healing, the gift of miracles, and the gift of faith three weeks after I got saved. Right after I broke the curse of uh, unforgiveness and bitterness in my life. God anointed me with those spiritual gifts. And I've been getting results ever since. If I minister to somebody and I don't get results, I want to know why. And prayer is no different. I get results over the phone. I have literally gotten people healed off their deathbeds right over the phone. I got a call from a man one time and he had been referred to me by somebody in our church through Facebook. And his son was dying in the intensive care unit over at Arnold Palmer Hospital here in Florida, in Orlando. And he called me and he said, it's like, he actually sent me a text message. He says, it's like he has a demon in his head. I said, you call me when you're in the room with him. Well, he called me at five o'clock that evening. Not only was he in the room, but the whole family was in the room and all of their close friends and relatives were packed into that room to watch the young man die. They were told he would die in a few hours or less. He was dying and they called me. I commanded the demon to come out of his head and broke the curse in the name of Jesus. And that young man woke up and got up and they let him go home the next day back to his family now that's results during this last this covid deal you wouldn't believe how many people were referred to me on their deathbeds dying their oxygen levels dropping the power in the name of jesus brought those people back to life healed them some of them instantly, some of them overnight, some of them woke up the next morning, all totally healed. Children who were being carried away by the devil. I command the devil to take their hands off the children. The children, their whole lives straighten out. Almost, some of them almost instantly. There's a lot of people out there whose children and grandchildren were delivered through the power in the name of Jesus because I get results. I'm the one to call. If you need something, please tell everybody you know, call Pastor Jim. Put a card, write my name on a card that says, call Pastor Jim for prayer. I will get results for you. Call me today when you do your offerings and donations, especially. And call me today for the blessing. Let me speak God's word for word blessing over you. And you will live a curse-free blessed light.